In this video tutorial, I will demonstrate how to deploy an ASP.NET website for free. You will need an ASP.NET integrated development environment, internet access, and an FTP client. I will be using the FTP client that is built into a Microsoft Visual Web Developer Express Edition. The web host we are going to be using is SoMe.com, and this is the only web host which is free and has FTP access. Okay, let's get started by opening up uh, your web browser and navigating to SoMe.com. Now, under the paid plans, uh, select the free plan and then sign up. Make sure to take a look at the uh, user agreement before you sign up for this site. Once you finish signing up, I'll log in with your uh, created username and password. And under the website control panel, you're going to want to take in your, uh, look at your information by selecting web. And now find your FTP address and your username and password and copy that down as we're going to be using it later. Now uh, open up your IDE and I created a website uh, specifically for this example and now um, open up your FTP client and put in your FTP address, your username and your password. I already saved uh, this in before I started recording so you're going to have to do this. Then click OK. Now depending on the FTP client you're going to be using you're going to have a section of files that's on your site and um, files that, that is destined to go on your um, I the internet website. So I'm going to select all the files that are saved in my local directory and I'm going to upload it to my online uh, website using the FTP client. And This will just take a few seconds. Okay, now it's done. Um, now you're going to want to open up a web browser and navigate to the URL that uh, SOMI gave you for your website. You can sign up for a domain name afterward and change this if you want. And as you see, my ASP.NET website is up and running. And if I click more information, the code has been compiled successfully. And that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please go to the hackersjournal.tk.